I'd like to welcome the Transportation Alternatives Program Committee members to this presentation of the Port Angeles Ray Street Complete Street Project. My name is Ben Broderick, and I'm the Associate Planner for Port Angeles and the Project Manager for Ray Street. Ray Street is one of only several major North Star arterials in the city of Port Angeles and serves as one of the most important and heavily traveled transportation corridors within the city. The right-of-way connects east and westbound Highway 101 to the Olympic National Park Visitor and Backcountry Information Center, as well as Hurricane Ridge. Along with serving as a connection to Olympic National Park, Ray Street also serves as the Highway 101 alternative route and provides an essential connection between many important public spaces, facilities, and not-for-profit uses. This project's fundamental purpose of establishing a multimodal corridor with a shared use path supports the purpose, goals, and policies of RTP 2040 by, for example, improving accessibility for people regardless of age, ability, or income, and making our transportation system safer and barrier-free for all users. This project is an important investment that adds lasting value and positive impact to Port Angeles. As you can see, from 1987 to present day, the waterfront trail has been continuously built out by the city to reach from Morris Creek to the Elwha River. After several years of grand consolidation and PE completion, the city will begin construction of remaining trail gaps within the harbor area and west end of Port Angeles. In 2009, the American Institute of Architects provided sustainable design assessment team that identified Ray Street as an important corridor for improvement of multimodal transportation in the waterfront transportation improvement project deliverable document. Grant consolidation for this project began in 2014 and design began in 2018. Planned 2021 construction of the first phase of Ray Street between 8th and Olympus Avenue will create access to many public and not-for-profit facilities. The project also creates a non-motorized connection to Olympic National Park landmarks, including direct connection to the Visitor and Backcountry Information Center and indirect connection to mass transit headed to Hurricane Ridge and other interior landmarks. Feel free to pause the video to view the list of facilities and connections Ray Street provides completely. The existing condition of Ray Street between A Street and Lordson Boulevard is an extremely wide 23-foot lane width and minimum standard sidewalk. Once completed, up to 50% of the right of way will be devoted to non-motorized transportation, stormwater facilities, and landscaping. Again, feel free to pause the video to look at section, elevation, and base maps in greater detail. Directly south of Lordton, there is no existing western sidewalk, and Peabody Creek Ravine acts as a point of visual interest and natural barrier for right of way expansion. A short deviation from clear space using a guardrail is necessary in order to fit a northbound turn lane which during the public process and traffic analysis was seen as an essential element at this location for level of service preservation. Further south, between Lordson and Park Avenue, there continues to be no existing western sidewalk. Movement to the right-of-way right east away from the natural ravine barrier allows the trail to continue meeting Ashto trail standards for clear zone and trail width. Between Park and Olympus Avenues, there are currently no non-motorized facilities in the right-of-way. The city has partnered with the National Park to place non-motorized trail on the National Park property and within city right-of-way to the visitor center and south to Olympus Avenue. A new entry monument sign includes room for future trail that will replace the two foot wide path that currently connects the park avenue to visitor center. The city has already been successful in securing federal access and surface transportation program funding in the amount of $2.5 million for construction and will complete design by June, 2021. Securing 2020 transportation alternatives and surface transportation program funding will ensure the first phase of project's construction can reach northwards as far as 8th Street. Phase two of construction is planned for the next two year grant cycle. To conclude, this project is directly related to needed transportation equity within Port Angeles. The corridor provides significant north-south access within Port Angeles to many public facilities and third places in the community. It's important to note that this is a flagship project with a projected long lifespan that will act as a catalyst for increasing multimodal network connections, both locally and regionally. Lastly, I am personally proud that the project includes a successful partnership with Olympic National Park and will be shovel ready in June, 2021. With that, thank you for your time and for the opportunity for Port Angeles to continue its efforts to make travel safer, more pleasant and equitable in our community.